So I had a really amazing idea how to do this video on the airport, but then I realized that I have to do it in a mask. So I don't know if you'll hear me well, but still, we're gonna do it in post-production. This is really big comparatively, but let's go. Okay, so today we're going through the question that you guys ask me so many times that it's just like ongoing and ongoing. And I do have a video about this topic, but it's really old, so kind of, you know, you need to do it again. You know what I'm saying? So how do we pack all of our drone stuff for the airport? And since I'm here on the airport, I think it's kind of, you know, more reliable because I went through with all of this. So you can trust me on that. For the airport, there's two really important rules when it goes to drones. One of them being, all of your tools go straight to the checked-in luggage, nowhere else. You just put it into a checked-in, whatever you have there, even if it's electrical screwdriver with bits, it's just not going into your backpack, it's just not happening. So for the purpose of this video, uh, this is going to be the only thing that's made at home because I cannot show this to you on the airport. So all my tools like screwdrivers, whatever can be taken away on the airport security, I'm just putting into my travel sling bag and the review of this thing is just right here in the cart. And I'm just gonna put it here and that's basically it. It's really easy because once I'm where I want it to be, I just take it out and put it straight to my drone backpack. So there's not too many things to deal with and it fits my suitcase perfectly. So the rule number two is always put your batteries into your carry-on. Reason being, and it's really easy. Now imagine stuff with me. One of your batteries has a dead cell. This dead cell gets a short because of vibrations or whatever else is going on with your cell. It starts burning and it's in the belly of the plane, so none of you knows what's going on and there's more batteries with it, so kaboom kaboom, generally. So, what you need to do is to get yourself a Lippo safe bag. I'm still saying that Tarval is the best, so hear me out on it. Uh, this is actually a small one because I wasn't really planning on flying a lot, but it actually has all of the Lippos inside. Usually what I'm doing is I'm getting out the Lippo safe bag and I'm actually opening it, so when they go through the scan, it looks kind of like, okay, you know what it is, because trust me, those things on the scan look a tad suspicious. So anyway, whenever I have a batteries for my camera, like a spare one, it's always going to the little safe bag and I'm always keeping it in there. And that's like the most important thing when it goes to packing your lipos. Whatever has a battery goes to your carry-on luggage. It's as easy as that. So whether it's a GoPro or an Insta360 or whatever you have in the goggles, the radio, whatever, it's going always to the carry-on, either to the little safe bag or you keep it with your goggles or radio or whatever you have it in. Like, you know, the cameras and stuff. Now, another golden rule of the packing is to put your drones kind of outside. If you actually like to have your drones in your checked-in luggage, that's absolutely fine. But if you put it into your carry-on, the most important thing is take off the props, all of them. It doesn't matter if they are for freestyle racing, if they are sharp or not, just take them off. Reason being, Sometimes when you go through the plane, you can just, you know, scratch people, scratch yourself or bend the prop and stuff like this. And you don't want to really do it. If it is like a cine whoop or a tiny whoop or something like this, yeah, because they still have something to protect them. But otherwise than this, absolutely props off. Hi guys, Lexi from the future here and as you can see on the presented picture this actually recorded in slow motion and it doesn't have any sound so uh, I just decided to do a little bit of a voiceover I kind of remember what I said and I'm sorry for my voice but I'm a little bit sick if you are following me on Instagram then you probably know everything about it so hey, let's go For this part of the video I have found an empty space on the airport which is actually nice so let's get to it now what else am I having in my backpack? And I'm using the Torval Mini Explorer backpack. I really enjoy it and I'm using the side straps for my drones. It kind of works, uh, but it's, it's a little bit worse with tiny ones, but you know what I'm saying. 
So on the inside of the backpack, I'm actually having all of my props. Now the thing is, uh, the props can be absolutely in your checked-in luggage or in your carry-on luggage. Depends what you actually like. The point is just not to have them on the drones unless they have ducts. I'm also having my Tracer and Crossfire because I'm getting kind of in between them right now. And some of my drones use Tracer, some of them use tr Crossfire, you know what it is. And then uh, I'm also having my radio inside. Uh, it's kind of like sticking in there because I have a lot of stuff on the top part. I'm also having my goggles and antennas with me because they do have batteries in them and they are kind of fragile, so I don't want them in my checked in luggage. I'm also having my DJI Osmo, uh, a bag full of my cameras. And since cameras have batteries in them, they are absolutely going to my carry-on luggage. So I'm having two Insta360 Go 2s, uh, Insta 361 r and a GoPro 7. This is basically all I have. And I'm just packing them straight into the backpack. I'm also having the little flywheel hex drone and I'm kind of putting it in because I'm kind of afraid of putting it on the outside. I'm afraid that I'm gonna lose it or it's gonna fall and I'm not gonna hear it. So it's always going to the inside, but this is my personal preference. And that's basically all I have in my backpack for like a little FPV travel. It's not for racing, it's not for anything really, uh, but just like a little travel on the plane. And all of this is absolutely legal with you to take. And we're kind of done. So all those three rules that I shared with you are the most important things when it goes to packing. One, tools go to the checked-in luggage. Two, lipos always go to the carry-on luggage and have to be in a lipo safe bag. And of course, three, uh, the propellers have to be off the drone at all times because it's just dangerous and can scratch people, things and yourself as well. And that's basically it. So uh, what I'm using personally is the Torval Mini Explorer backpack. I really enjoy it and I'm using it mostly for freestyle and filming a type of a trip. And actually there is a couple of other things that I really enjoy about it. So on the side of the backpack, I'm actually having my laptop as well because, you know, it has battery, it has to go into the carry-on luggage and that's uh, basically it. I also have a couple of things in the small package right here, just the things that I need like cables, power banks, um, other things that I may need eventually and uh, I guess here I was waiting until the lady stopped talking on the speaker, I guess. So that's all I had for you today and I hope you enjoyed and if you did don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up to help me make algorithm happy and don't forget to subscribe for more. Now in the meantime I think this is it and if you have any questions post them in the comments and until then I'm gonna go catch my plane because it seems like this is the time. So yeah thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Stay awesome! Bye!